In this video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into using a Pioneer DDJSX as a MIDI device. You have seen in my previous video where I used the DDJSX with Fruity Loops to make beats. I was a little bit disappointed in the DDJSX, but that was partially my fault for not using it to its fullest potential. I did a little bit of research and I found that there's a feature you need to change inside utility mode to get the DDJSX to function to function as a MIDI device with other software. Now with Fruity Loops, I lucked out because the DDJSX was recognizable right off the rip in the software, but there's other various audio software programs that I use that the DDJSX is not recognized. To get into utility mode, we're going to use the left deck. We're going to turn the unit off, make sure that it's unplugged from the USB, hold down the shift button, and the play pause button at the same time while powering on the unit. This will put us into utility mode. While into utility mode, all we want to do is turn the key lock button on. Once the button is illuminated red, now the Pioneer DDJSX is now in a regular, is acting as a regular USB slash MIDI device, and it should be recognizable by, you know, a bunch of your audio softwares. We want to go ahead and just turn the unit off, turn it back on. Now when it powers back up, it should be acting as a regular MIDI slash USB controller. We want to go ahead and just plug this guy in and go ahead and open up Serato Scratch Live. It is now recognizable in Serato Scratch Live. If you plug it in and it says in Serato DJ mode, it will not work. At least it did not work for me. When I did this, it worked as a regular MIDI device. Once in Serato Scratch Live, let's go ahead and go to the setup menu and go to MIDI devices. And we should now see the Pioneer DDJSX as a device in the list. Now, there's no need here to do anything. It's just recognized as the device. And now you can go ahead into your MIDI settings and go ahead and start mapping a couple things and testing and playing with it and mapping as you want and having some fun. If this is a setting that you like, you can go ahead and just save that setting in Scratch Live or you can just leave it. It'll recognize it the next time it comes back, but saving is always a good idea. Now, I have not tried going back into Serato DJ with this in the USB slash MIDI mode. I don't know if it's recognizable. Frankly, it's not something that I want to play with because I had connection issues right off the rip on my computer when I first connected the unit, but maybe it's something else somebody wants to play with and do a video with. I'm just not that courageous at this point. So what I did is when I was done with this unit, I just went right back into the utility mode and I turned it back into Serato DJ mode and I used it correctly with the program. Why would you use this with Serato Scratch Live? I don't know. For me, it was just fun. It was something that I always thought about. It was the first question I thought about when I got it. And, you know, I mini mapped a couple things and then I wasn't as excited about it. So I went right back to Serato DJ. But, you know, for maybe some of you other guys um, using the SB, you still have Serato Scratch Live. Maybe this is a fun option for you. Doesn't make a lot of sense for me because the license, the Serato DJ license comes with the DDJSX. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. But, Again, have fun with it. Do whatever you want to do. It's just out there for knowledge. Um, you know, and where this is really beneficial is if you have other softwares, you know, maybe you use to make beats or just, you know, use it as a controller for, you know, what have you. You know, I think there's some benefit to using it that way. If this is something that you're going to try out, try it out, have some fun with it. But especially if you're using this unit outside of your bedroom, at shows, weddings, whatever, just make sure that you're in the correct mode so there are no surprises during your event. All right, guys, that is how you put the Pioneer DDJSX in MIDI slash USB mode. If you like my video, please go ahead, rate, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just shoot me in an email. Don't forget to practice and enjoy.